Okay, so have to unpack all that bullshit that was spouted off today that uh well i'm cooperating with the fbi <laughs> you think the fbi gives a fuck about what you have to say are you fucking serious you think the fbi really take a word you say as as gospel as something that would stand in a court of law this is the thing about Tom Zebra, is that he thinks he interjects himself into all these situations like he's like, you know, he's going to bring down the, he's going to bring him down. He's responsible for this. He shot this. Yo, you haven't fucking brought down fucking nothing. Fucking nothing. And you're a terrible witness. Any fucking prosecutor, any uh, defense attorney, any anybody in a courtroom can bring up numerous situations of you lying like my favorite one is i've never heard the roosters at 4 30 a.m at my house before or your shed i'm sorry your shed where you steal the neighbor's wi-fi still haven't gotten a ged at 50 years old yeah let's listen to that guy that guy he's smart so apparently He's working with the FBI because he has some dirt on something that doesn't involve him and that he's promising his dumbass fans that he has, he's got an audio clip of an officer admitting to stealing cocaine from a evidence room. Are you shitting me? Are you serious? And then he proceeds to go to the Inglewood Courthouse City Hall and ride his bikey around and threaten. Use more threats. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cooperate with the FBI. I'm gonna bring down this Inglewood officer Baca. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this guy just interjects himself into situations all the fucking time. He did it with uh Christopher uh something and uh uh, he, he filmed it. Well, where's the footage? You didn't film shit. You got there late. You were after the fact. You like taking credit for something you didn't do. Just like you always do. Just like you did four years ago. When my lawyer said you are not a good witness. Nothing you say is the truth. You lie constantly. So why the fuck would the FBI be interested in anything you have to offer like that's your whole thing is like i'm gonna sick my youtube views on them and that'll that'll learn them they'll they'll be scared of me and they won't mess with me or my friend jody wait a minute let's backtrack okay your friend jody had surgery and went out that night you said she had staples and you said she had a stroke but you said that it was a, a panic attack you, you lie constantly that's what i'm saying you lie constantly your friend is out there after having major surgery filming the police and shouting and yelling at the cops at 6.30 in the morning. Man, you think the FBI really fucking cares? If they care anything about you, it's that you've threatened to kill 25, 30 cops, line them up and shoot them in the face, put hot lead in their faces. That's what they care about. That's what the FBI cares about. They ain't taking a fuck a word you say seriously. Not a fucking single court case you will ever be involved in will ever take you seriously. Your testimony is shit. And you've only doubled down and made it worse in the last fucking four years. By threatening to kill cops. By threatening to kill uh, uh, other people. By threatening to kill uh, lawmakers, judges. Like your, like your hero, happy fuck Eric Brandt day. So, I just find this all just uh, interesting that, oh, I'm going to the FBI. Uh, there's another threat. The FBI ain't going to take nothing you fucking say seriously. Ain't no cop, ain't no media, ain't nobody going to take you seriously. The only people that take you seriously are the dumbass followers that listen to a high school dropout, try to sound smart, and egg on cops for YouTube views. Those idiots can't, they, they either don't care that you lie, or they're too stupid to know that you lie. Dumb people, dumb people follow Tom Zebra, seriously. 
they just eat up every word that he says because and then they go in his chat and they're like oh we love you you're such a you're such a uh, originator you're so they just kiss his fucking ass because those are the only comments that are allowed on his page so therefore nobody ever thinks though this guy's bad this guy this town drunk rides around on his bicycle against traffic fucking breaks into homes steals bikes uh on drugs uh drunk like uh yells threats uh on his live streams and it's too fucking much of a coward little bitch that he hides them you know because he knows that they violate youtube uh community guidelines and, uh, you know, he doesn't want anybody to clip them or share them because, you know, he wants to look like he's a badass little cop baiting midget on YouTube. But ain't no FBI going to give a flying fuck about what you say, any evidence that you bring. You ain't got nothing. You keep promising. You... Where's the fireman video? We keep waiting for the fucking fireman video. It's been like fucking, what, two years? Like, I'm going to bring the lid off of this department. And then the video comes out and it's like... It's just a bunch of garbled nonsense. It doesn't prove anything. It doesn't show anything. Like, you're just vindictive. You're just a vindictive jerk asshole that uses YouTube to uh, um, to harass and bully people. And, and, and it, it's pretty clear. Any jury, any FBI, any investigation, any case that you may be involved in is exactly that. That's what it's going to come down to. You're a, a mouthy liar that sensationalizes traffic stops, acts like you know what you're talking about when you don't, you clearly don't. You've been proven a liar numerous times. Um, nothing you say matters. You just got a bunch of dumbass people that just eat up anything that you, that you do because they think, oh, the, that mouthy little guy, he's, he's really giving the cops, he's really making change. Are you really making any change? What, what are you hoping to get out of your, uh, besides money, because we know you're broke, what are you hoping to get out of your FBI uh, snitching? What are you hoping to get? Are you are you hoping to change the rules on who has access to the evidence room? Are you taking responsibility for an investigation that happened in North Las Vegas that you had nothing to do with, like you've done many times? Uh, uh, most importantly, the Route 91 festival, where you gave your opinion about something you know nothing about. <laughs> Really? You think, uh, nah, I just do it on YouTube. No FBI, no jury, you ain't got no nothing. And you think you're so important, and that's what you do. You lie to your fans, you lie to the people who follow you, and you make, you seem, make yourself seem like you're more important than you really are. You're not, you're, what are you fighting for? You, you, you're trying to get uh, officers uh, banned from the evidence room? Are you trying to have a, a surveillance video in the, in, what, what concrete changes are you doing other than YouTube views? <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> the dude just rides his bicycle around in circles, go, you know, trying to, trying to intimidate the Inglewood PD riding around his little bicycle around. Oh, they won't come out and talk to me because they're too much of cowards. Oh, okay. Just ride your little bicycle around in circles and try to intimidate, uh, intimidate witnesses. I'm gonna sick my YouTube views on you. If you don't do what I say, if you don't do what I say, then I'm gonna publish a video on you. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna ride my circle. I'm gonna ride my bike in a circle. I'm snitching to the FBI. I'm gonna tell everybody that I'm doing it. Why? Because I didn't get my way. Ain't got nothing on nobody. Ain't been impressed with a goddamn thing you've ever done. Fucking little bait midget. You don't fucking do anything for the for anyone. You're just a you're just a scam artist. You're a con man, right? That you know it. You're a con man, mistaken bait con man. That's what you are. You're just a scammer. You're not creating any change. You're not doing anything. You got no dirt on anybody. You ain't changing the direction or outcomes of any case. Everything is 
you just interject yourself into things. You you pretend to be people that you're that you're not. You know, you've been running around Linux, your same 13 blocks, telling everybody that you shot that Inglewood video. You didn't shoot that Inglewood video. Why you tell people that? Why you tell people that? You didn't shoot it. So what difference are you making? What difference are you making on your bicycle? On your bicycle, I'm a 50 year old man riding a bicycle. Riding a bicycle because you can't afford a car. You've pawned every car, you've admitted it. You've pawned every car. You've pawned every thing of value that you have. That's what kind of person you are. Fans give you gifts, give you phones, you throw them in the fucking toilet when you're in a drunken rage because things didn't go your way. You didn't get your way. You're like a big old man-child baby. It's completely ineffective, but you've, you've got some dumbass people that follow your every move, think you're the bee's knees. They think you're, you're cool shit because you get all the views on YouTube and you can threaten to kill cops and get away with it. And your hero's Eric Brandt, and you think all judges should die, and all cops that ever gave you a ticket because you recorded your own crimes on camera. You think you're so cool, you're not. It's really sad and pathetic. And then, you, and, and then you're just using people like Jody, you, you, you use people, you use them so that one day you'll get that shot, one day cops will rough them up and you'll get that shot finally that you've been craving for what eight years that you've been filming one day one day you'll get it you just set up jody enough one day the cops will take her you know take her uh car away and then you'll have all kinds of content for days won't you oh content that's all you care about it's like so interesting for you to just ride your bicycle around in a circle, isn't it? Isn't this interesting, folks? Aren't you having, uh, aren't you having a good time watching me ride around on my bicycle in circles, threatening to, uh, to divulge information that's gonna bring down the department? You ain't got no information. You would've fucking published it. If you had anything, you would've published it by now. And any information that you have will be discredited in court because you're a habitual compulsive liar that never tells the truth. And your idiot fanboys just eat that shit up. Hey girl. Hey girl. They just eat it up like, oh yeah, you brought down, oh, you're gonna bring down the officer <laughs> that, that was part of the North Las Vegas oh, investigation. Right. You were somehow involved in that, weren't you? Weren't you? No, you weren't. You just hop on all these little opportunistic things. Your camera work is dog shit, by the way. Do you even know how to pan left or right? Do you even know how to lead the actor? Your camera work is trash. You're not a fucking photographer. You're not a journalist. You, you, you use an iPhone. I mean, granted it might be a current iPhone, but it's still shaky wobbly bullshit and it's just you yelling at cops and threatening to kill 25 30 of them and shoot them in their fucking heads i don't know it's not good content it, it, and and you appeal to a certain type of people who have had it with cops and cops getting away with shit but you just keep making it harder and harder and harder for anyone to get any justice just like my attorney said four years ago you are not a credible witness Putting you on the stand would ultimately open up a whole can of worms that wasn't even worth it to defend your name or defend you or what you do and everything that you're about because there's a mountain of lies that you've been caught on. So, go ahead and snitch to the FBI, you little fucking rat, you little Inglewood snitch. Go ahead and rat to the FBI. You got some dirt. Ooh, let's hear it. I can't wait. I can't wait for it. When's it come out? Don't keep us waiting. 
And if you had dirt, you would have rushed home immediately and stole your neighbor's Wi-Fi and fucking uploaded that shit. You wouldn't even edited it. You would have uploaded it immediately. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Or you would have gone on like 12 fucking live streams saying, it's coming, I'm gonna post this, and threaten like, like cops give a shit. Like you have some sort of pull or weight or some kind of influence on what they do or their jobs or their investigations. They, you, like your testimony is going to bring down the house. You're gonna solve this problem once and for all. Man, everything that you say is gonna be tossed out of fucking court because you're a joke and you've been proven a liar several times so the FBI should really take interest in you but not for the reasons that you think they should take interest in you because you threatened to line up 25 30 cops and shoot them in their fucking heads in that right well oh you made that up oh that that happened a year ago yeah well it happened didn't it and you've been a proven liar ever since. My favorite lie is the most recent one I heard is that you've never heard the roosters at 4.30 a.m. near your shed. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Because it's, I've heard them on, on your other late night tweaking streams. Hilarious. When do you ever tell the truth? I'm going to say never. Ever. You lie constantly about everything. You make yourself seem more important than you really are, and dumbass people eat that shit up and think that you're just the bee's knees. You're really making change out there, aren't you? Yeah, you're getting getting all kinds of changes made, getting all kinds of uh, rights taken away. You're out there making a, uh, the case for uh, cops to, uh, you know, uh, stop people from filming them. You're really doing a great job. You've gotten radio encrypted in two different states. You got warrants in two different states. You get all triggered when a cop calls you out for your warrants. Uh, you lied about a whole situation. You sat there and said that you were pointing the camera at him and shouting at him. And then you said, I don't know why he pulled us over. It must be because he's black. Ah, see, you're a proven liar. Everything you say, you lie so much you don't even realize how often you do it. And that's what I say, FBI juries you trying to speak up for jody cat in a, in a civil matter your testimony ain't gonna mean shit your testimony ain't gonna mean shit to nobody because you ain't shit because you lie constantly you 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 have no you have no pull you, you're not the arbiter you're not like the fucking um, self-imagined character that you think you are you're nobody you ride your bicycle around the same 13 blocks harassing the same 13 officers <laughs> like every once in a while you'll go a little bit further into Torrance and go get them like it's a joke it's a fucking joke what you do and you ain't scaring nobody and you ain't bringing down the house you ain't got evidence you ain't got no you just keep promising all these things like you said oh I got Sergeant Healy by the balls Sergeant Healy fucking owned your ass same way with officer deputy Sandvig same way with officer Lee same way with deputy Ramirez same way with uh, uh, um, Ryan Walker and you just embarrass yourself and, and and all that shit will be brought up in a court of law any case civil criminal all that stuff will come up but you really want to try to get all of those death threats that you've made off the internet. That's why you filed another copyright complaint. You, your South, your uh, SoCal frauded or circle jerk gang, filing copyright strikes against channels, trying to shut them up and never follow through. Hmm. Isn't that a violation of the community guidelines filing false copyright strikes? You might want to try to own a copyright before you do that, dumbass. So, anyways, that's my beef. I don't want to keep people here for too long, but... This guy ain't got nothing on nobody. He ain't, he ain't important. He ain't... Nothing he says is going to impress no fucking officer and no fucking agent, no fucking courtroom, no fucking jury. He's done. He's a liar. He's finished.
There will never be a payday ever again for other than your fucking, I'm going to sick my YouTube views on the police. That'll teach them. No, it's teaching them how to clown you is what it's doing. Providing all kinds of information. That your friend Jody is an abusive nurse, unvaccinated, and harasses uh, um, the uh, the patients at the Torrance, uh, Torrance Nursery. Uh, your, your friend Laura Shark. It's always party time when Laura's around, isn't it? You guys are always going 110% uh, when Laura's around. Hmm. Interesting. Was Is that B12? Is that what, what it is? Or is it... Uh, just natural endorphins that you guys are up at 4 a.m. in the fucking morning chasing fucking cops trying to collect their names like Pokemons. It's sad. It's pathetic and sad. You've gotten it all wrong. You will never fucking win a case ever again. Your testimony is dog shit. You're a proven liar. Every court in the world will know this. And, uh, I would just give it up at 50 years old. What I would try to do at 50 years old is try to get a goddamn GED. 